Hello, everyone. I'm Alex Nogales, president and CEO of the National Hispanic Media Coalition. We strongly oppose AT&T's takeover of T-Mobile, and here are the reasons why. Currently, only four national cell phone companies serve the United States. AT&T is the second largest, and T-Mobile is the fourth. If AT&T is allowed to purchase mobile or T-Mobile, AT&T and Verizon would control nearly 80% of the national market. Consumers, especially migrant consumers, as many Latino workers are, rely on national providers to ensure that they can connect no matter their locale. These folks would be forced to select from one of only three providers. Less competition would lead to higher prices, fewer choices, and poor customer service at a time when we can least afford it. This would disproportionately harm Latino consumers. Latinos, more than any other group, rely on cell phones. Indeed, they have become a necessity. And with 25% of Latinos below the poverty line, higher prices would be devastating. On average, Latinos already pay $104 per month for cell phone service, significantly more than any other group. And Latinos pay the highest rates on AT&T, averaging bills of $120 per month, while the lowest on T-Mobile, averaging only $102. So it should be no surprise that approximately 25% of T-Mobile's 34 million customers are Latino, compared to only 12% of AT&T's. In addition to higher prices, this acquisition would lead to layoffs, even as the U.S. is trying to rebuild its vulnerable workforce. AT&T is infamous for shedding its workforce, even in times of distinct success. Between 2007 and 2009, it reduced its workforce by over 20,000 people, despite making $36.5 billion in profits. Countless Latinos and others stand to lose their jobs if AT&T acquires T-Mobile. In the past decade, both companies have heavily recruited Latinos to staff and manage their retail stores and to provide bilingual customer service. Now, AT&T is proposing to consolidate retail stores and billing systems. For all these reasons, NHMC has no recourse but to ask the Federal Communications Commission and the Department of Justice to reject this deal. It is not in the interest of the consumer, not in the interest especially of the Latino consumer. Thank you.